to the I team now. All sides insist they care, but no one seems to be able to break an impasse that has left several dogs from a cruelty case languishing in the Fulton County Animal Shelter. Animal advocates complained a year ago when the Fox 5 I team first reported on this story. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says the animals have now been in that shelter for three years. Randy. That's right, Courtney and Russ. We thought it was sad to be stuck there for two years. Well, now another year has gone by, and so far no one seems willing to figure this out. So his three dogs were here. On one side, Cecil and Scherer, still the legal owner of a group of Connie Corsos seized in January 2020. They tried to say as if I was abusing them, but they're very, very expensive dogs. And I don't know people who would, you know, have that nice of a dog just to abuse it. He was, he was right there at the front door. He was running back and forth. He was running around. On the other side, Fulton County authorities, who say they answered so many calls at Scherer's home over the years, they finally charged her with cruelty, citing unsanitary conditions and lack of adequate shelter. Allegations she denies. And of course, stuck in the middle, five of those same dogs, confined to cages at the Fulton County Animal Shelter two months before the pandemic and where they continue to live today. To me, it's almost criminal that it's been this long. It's a living being. It's not, you know, it's, you're not arguing over a couch. The Fox 5i team secretly recorded this video of the Connie Corsos last year inside a special building behind the shelter. At first, the pandemic delayed any prosecution. Fulton County petitioned a judge to force Shearer to pay $5,400 a month for their care or surrender her dogs. Instead, she filed bankruptcy. And because Cher listed her dogs as property, they became protected assets, forcing the judge to dismiss the cost of care petition. A Fulton County spokesperson says taxpayers have so far spent $65,700 to care for these dogs. Sure, the pandemic may have slowed everything down, but three years? And Sure's bankruptcy may not even be a factor anymore. According to court records, twice it's been dismissed because she hasn't been making monthly payments to her creditors. Good girl. <laughs> Rebecca Samonski doesn't know Shearer, but as president of the Connie Corso Association of America, the Cobb County resident certainly knows the breed. They're more sensitive than you would expect. So putting them in like a shelter environment and taking them away from everything that they know is hard on them. While five have lived here since January 2020, the rest of the seized dogs are actually living with foster families, including two sets of puppies, one litter accidentally conceived while in the shelter. Fulton County has already returned two others to share because of illness or age. Samonski thinks the rest should go home as well, if no one cares enough to get the case to trial. Three years in, it really isn't good for them. I mean, that's, that's reaching the point now where was it more cruel to take them or to leave them? And that's a good question. The owner's attorney tells me they could get a trial date by next month, but so far nothing has been scheduled. Maybe some renewed attention will help here. Yeah, well, certainly what's happening now so looks like it's cruel on, it, on its face. Mm -hmm. You point out this has been going on for three years. Has there ever been a court date in this process? Actually, yes. Uh, last August, which would have been eight months after our last story, they had a court date scheduled, but then they had to cancel it because the owner's attorney had a conflict. He was supposed to be in another courtroom, so they never rescheduled it. Uh, and I started calling around a month or so ago, and there was no, no trial date set, but mm -hmm. maybe perhaps now there will be soon and we can get this all resolved. Yeah, especially when you talk about animal cruelty, it does seem cruel to leave them in a cage that small. They don't have a lot of space to, to move around or go outside. And the owner insists she's innocent and she deserves the dogs back, yeah. she believes. All right. Randy, thanks. Okay. Thanks, Randy.